Okay guys, today we're going to do an unboxing of the Buddy Flex, which is the newest uh, Buddy heater system or Mr. Heater system that they have out. Um, so we'll do the unboxing kind of to start. open here. Okay, so the only thing that's in here is going to be the orange manual. And then there's a battery. There's one in here as well. Okay, so I have the battery put in. Okay, so on this side here, you're going to have an accessory switch, which is uh, designed to be able to run the flex cooker on there as well. On the very back of this thing, you're going to have where your propane bottle can go in. Um, so using a small uh, one pound bottle, or you can use the accessory and then use a bigger 20 pound propane bottle. Um, today what we're going to use is just use a small uh, one pound propane bottle that we're going to put in there. Okay, so put that bottle in there. It's a brand new bottle I just took the cap off of it. Should he, there we go, I just heard it break the seal. Okay, so now on the very top up here, you're going to have this thing as your knob, so you can set it to off. This will be your pilot for your heater, and then your high to low settings. Okay, so what we're going to do, so I'm just going to turn this, so you can see the front of it. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to Turn this to the pilot light, push in, Clearly there's something wrong here. Hmm. Alright, so um, I've just tried lighting this thing and it won't light. The pilot won't, like the pilot will go on for, looks like it's starving itself for fuel. I'm not really sure. It's a brand new bottle, so I know it's not that. I'll just see if I can put it in. All right, uh, not a good start. Um, I just picked this thing up and, uh, hmm. 
brand new, so I really don't want to tear into it to try and find out what's wrong with it. Um, super weird. Um, you know, wait a few minutes, let the, pro it can't be the propane. Um, yeah, look, there's nothing on the bottom down here. There, there's no on switch other than the actual pilot. Sounds like it wants to light and then it just turns itself off. So I don't know if it's a bad regulator. Hmm. Let's try this again. Okay, so in the owner's manual, um, I'm, turn that off. I'm actually going to make the phone call to them to see if I can't get a hold of them. Yeah, if I go halfway down, it'll actually light, but it won't actually s start. Um, so this isn't my first buddy heater. Um, I've had, I've got a big buddy, um, and then I have the little buddy. Uh, I was buying this one, uh, so we can go out ice fishing later on today, but um, clearly that's not going to work. Um, and I was just going to do a quick unbox and then take you guys outside and show you how that all works, but that's not gonna work today. So um, I'm not I'm not 100%. They say that the radiant heating on this thing is actually a lot larger, so it pushes out to the sides. And um, I've got a small little shack that I use a clam flip shelter. And this is the one that I would have used for inside of there just because of the, um, of the radiant heating feature. I could put it right at our kind of close to our feet and still be able to receive the heat. Um, kind of right at the base of the sled so um, yeah I'm, I'm a little bit concerned um, only uh, I guess I've never had a problem with any of my other ones so I don't really know but um, yeah so I don't know um, yeah. weird Um, I am using a regular one pound propane bottle. It's a green bottles. It's the only ones that that I know of that work. I mean, I know that it's cold. This is a Coleman one, but um, typically that won't really matter. And if that's the case, then, then we're in big trouble because I use it for ice fishing. So um, that's this is what it's actually going to be used for. So I'm hoping that it's not that sensitive to, to cold propane. We are experiencing higher call volume than normal. You may find it helpful to leave a call back to the well, I'm going to leave the video off here. Um, to leave a voicemail just... message, press 1, or please remain on the line. All calls are answered in the order in which they are received. Sorry, I'm going to leave uh, I'm going to leave this off for right now, the video. 
Uh, I'm gonna just remain on hold with them and see if uh, uh, I'll let you know how I make out with it and hopefully I uh, can get a replacement. I just got off the phone with the tech guys or the support at uh, Mr. Heater uh, regarding the hard start on the Buddy Flex. Um, he said to me that what I need to do here is I need to prime the line. So what I need to do is I need to turn this to um, the pilot, hold down the pilot for about 20 seconds. And then once it's held down for about 20 seconds, then what I can do is I can actually hit the igniter and it should start. Um, let's, fingers crossed here that this is actually going to work. Um, okay. Oh, okay. So um, he said once the pilot's lit, you got to hold it again for about another 15 seconds. Um, so we'll just sit here maybe for another five or so seconds. Okay, um, then I can let go. Yeah, so it stayed lit. So okay. this is awesome. This means the thing is actually working correctly. Um, so fantastic. Okay, so we're right now we're in the pilot stage. So the only thing that's lit is just the pilot. Um, I'm going to turn this to the on position. And see. Okay, right on. Okay, uh, so we, okay, so you can see now it's it's actually uh, that's on high. Okay, so that's pretty warm right away. Um, you can feel the radiant heat on the side. Um, so, so that's fantastic. Okay, I'm going to turn this down. It's a little too hot for me. Uh, I'll turn it down to low for a second here. Just make sure it still runs. Um, this is awesome. Um, the guy was right away when I talked to him. He told me exactly what to do. Um, obviously, he knows what he's talking about, which is fantastic. So... Um, I do have two other buddy heaters. I have the little buddy and then I have the big buddy. Um, oh, I'll turn that down because it is hot in here. Um, just a pilot light on now. Um, I, I, I've never had that kind of an issue with either one of those, um, with either one of those two other heaters with it having to prime the lines before you pilot it. Um, mind you, the little buddy, I think the pilot is a little bit weird. My Mr. Buddy, uh, the pilot is awesome. It starts right away. I've never, ever had an issue. Um, I've even had it where uh, it fell off of my, I, uh, my ice fishing sled, fell in the snow, basically blow it out and be able to start it. So fingers crossed that this one is the same. Um, so I'll talk to you a little bit about this. There was no tools needed in the unboxing. So that's kind of a cool thing. So um, there's no problem there. Um, so the only thing that you have to do is you have to put in the battery. Um, then this right here, is the actual accessory for the flex cooker so that right there is for the flex cooker and then basically you just plug it in uh, you get a cable or a hose um, that would be uh, that you can actually use so then what you need to do is you need to turn on the very top of this thing you would need to so then what you would need to do is on the very top of this thing right here is you'd need to turn on the accessory. So start the pilot light, the same process on the accessory side, start it. And then you can plug in the hose or you can turn on your accessory once the hose is plugged in and it will actually uh, cook through, through this. Having said that, when you're doing that, I don't know that the one pound propane bottle is gonna be enough to actually run that. So um, speaking of times, uh, I can tell you from my Mr. Buddy heater um, that it takes, uh, I get probably out of a propane bottle, I probably get a one, at low, I'll probably get four or five hours out of it. At high, um, I probably get maybe two hours out of it. This one, they say, will last anyone for anywhere from one and a half to three and a half hours on a one pound, which is probably pretty good. That's that kind of fits in long lines with the other one. Um, and then they say that if you use a 20 pound bottle that you can get up to, well, 36 to 72 hours, depending on, um, on, on, I guess, how high you have the heat set and how much you use in the accessory versus the uh, regular heater side. Um, as far as the unboxing goes, fingers crossed that this thing doesn't have any real issues uh, going forward. Um, what I may do is I may just 
do another video of this thing in a month after I've used it, kind of give you some real feedback on how well it works. It does it do exactly what I want. Is there a benefit to spending the uh, 60 to a hundred dollars more uh, for the buddy flex versus the regular buddy that I had other than the uh, push button igniter? Is there a benefit to anything? Um, design wise, I think there probably is. I think having these uh, the half cylinder um, design of the of the heat will probably radiate heat throughout the hut a little bit better. Um, I do most of my fishing on my own uh, ice fishing in a in a portable sled, so it may not it may not benefit me at all. And and I'll tell you honestly if I think it is or not. Um, I bought this thing from Cabela's uh, for the Boxing Day sale, and it was fifty bucks off. So I think this thing is regularly two thirty nine Canadian. And I was able to get it for one eighty nine, um, whereas a Mister Buddy heater I think is one nineteen to one twenty nine right now. I can't remember exactly what it is. And then the little Buddy heater is I think ninety nine bucks. Um, so, you know, the little Buddy heater obviously won't throw off the heat that this thing will, but the Mister Buddy will. So I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't know if there's a huge benefit, but I'll tell you once I once I use it in the hut. But as for now, that's the unboxing of it. Um, it is it is pretty uh, simple and straightforward. Again, there's no tools that you have to use. Um, basically, just put the battery in, which they supply, which is great. Then all you need to do is to screw in the the one pound bottle or um, get the hose and and actually attach a twenty pound bottle uh, of propane to it. So. Once again, my name's Darren. Thanks for watching today. And um, if you like the videos that I am producing, I'm, I am gonna do some more um, videos on basically setups, unboxing, and then some real time use of some of this stuff. Um, it seems like that's some of the stuff on my channel that people are liking. So um, thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe and uh, hope to see you out on the ice. Thanks.